Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to talk about mega levels. That's right. We have evolutions. On the blue device we have Cherubimon X. And on the yellow device we have Rapidmon X. Let's talk about Cherubimon first because I think it's a, a neater thing. So Cherubimon X is the obviously the X antibody form of Cherubimon. Cherubimon is an angel Digimon uh, that looks like a beast. Um, basically looks like a big rabbit. <laughs> um, <laughs> which is fitting because its previous form, you remember it's rookie, it was tiny, Lopmon X. It's like a little rabbit looking guy. Um, Lopmon and Terriermon are actually like part rabbit, part dog. They, I think they look more like rabbits than they look like dogs, but okay. Anyway, um, Cherubimon is a big angel. Um, like I said, looks like a, is a, is beast shaped. Oh, come back. And the thing about, uh, Cherubimon is that it uses electrical attacks to, to fight people. Um, let's see if we can see that face and that electrical, electrical attack. Um, there we go. Oh, look. Wonderful. There we go. We got to see it. So, the thing I think is interesting about Cherubimon is that uh, it can shoot a giant beam of light out of its chest. And if it thinks that you are um, an evil Digimon or whatever, it can use that light to purge the darkness or the evil out of you and have you revert back to a Digi Egg. And then supposedly you're... Di when you hatch again, you'll you'll be a good Digimon, right? <laughs> um, and if Cherubimon doesn't think you're, I guess, worth um, reformatting, uh, <laughs> he can just vaporize you and destroy you so that you don't become a Digi-Egg again, uh, which is also nuts. But he does it with a big, like, electroshock hug, so he hugs you to death, which is crazy. <laughs> and you, like, basically disintegrate to ash. <laughs> so... Okay, well, that's Cherubimon, which is, he's kind of terrifying and cute all at the same time, uh, which is why he's great. Um, let's see, and then we have Rapidmon X, uh, who is all golden and ridiculous looking. He's also a, you know, as I said before, a mega level Digimon. Um, he basically has... Um, almost like big sword gun arms <laughs> and his gun arms shoot missiles everywhere and he has um a big like jet booster on his back <laughs> uh yeah these mega level did you mind getting nuts all right let's see his his wonderful face there we go There are his missiles. Big blasts. Sure. Oh, we get double the face. Double the face action. I think it was pretty clear. Like, the face the face art was really good for both of them, actually. I think it was easy to tell where their eyes and their head were and all that. Some of these faces, I think, don't always come across super well. But, alright. Uh, let's have them do a quick battle. Let's see who can win this time. So, last time... Yellow won, but blue had won twice before, so uh, they are both maxed out level 10s. They're both vaccines, so it's a pretty even playing field. So let's see which one of the brothers can defeat the other. Let's do this one first. Oh, shoot. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy. Okay, well, I can't do that then. I need to do the same thing for this guy. I don't want to give him the the good good. Okay, so they're all they're both even 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 Stevens. Okay. Error. Ugh. Okay, we'll do it again, I guess. To. Let's see if I can get the the good good. Did I get it? I don't even know. Also two. Okay, that's weird. All right. Uh, get these guys connected. Ah! There we go. Cool. 
trying to get that in there with no glare. It's hard, man. So glary. There we go. Let's try that. Did anyone take a hit yet? Oh yeah, they both did. Oh boy, here we go. Hmm. Still anybody's game. Oh, well, there it is. He's out. Knocked out. Oh, Blue did it again. So we're at uh, three, three out of four on Blue. Oh no, he's injured, like for real. Ugh, all right. Hold on, I mean, you did a good job, but I need to fix your brother. All right. Hmm. Don't, don't be sad. You did a good job. I know you got hurt, but you're, you're fine now. You're fine now. <sighs> I just want to say, great job. Uh, redeeming yourself from yesterday's terrible loss. Um, you've always been the stronger brother. And you know it. And you know it. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, I also want to talk about this today. My uh, Digimon X Cross Wars, however you say this, mini. Uh, I got it. I, I turned it on yesterday just to see, um, last night just to see like what was going on with it. And um, I've already like beat it, quote unquote, which is nuts. Um, basically, you don't raise them the same way you do other Digimon, um, devices. Uh, you just have to battle. And after you battle a different, these certain guys, you evolve up to this form, and then it comes down, and you fight this, you fight this guy next, and then if you win, you'll evolve into this guy, and you just keep going. Which is interesting, though, is, like, you can always go back. Like, if I fight this, like, I'm in this guy right now. I'm Dark Nightmon. And if I fight Vamdemon again, I'll just become Lucimon Satan mode again. It's also strange that, like, this chart doesn't seem to have any, like, uh, relationship based on, like, level. Like, rookies, ultimates, perfects, all that kind of stuff. The, like, this guy should be obviously the strongest dude on this whole device, but he's not the last form. It's Dark Nightmon. Like, this is a super mega level, and this is just an ultimate level? It's strange. Um, also, if, if people, you know, care or get confused or whatever, I, I almost always use the English Digivolution names, the Rookie, Champion, Ultimate, Mega uh, stages, just because I grew up with the English dub. So those are the names I'm used to. I think the Japanese names are fine. Um, it is a shame that... The, some of the names are very similar. Like, ultimate means two different things. And it means a different stage in English than it does in Japanese. So sometimes it gets very confusing for people. Um, but I will generally try to stick to the English Digivolution names. But anyway, um, I'm going to try to do a battle real fast with this guy. Just to see what happens next. What I get. Oh, see, like, if I do this, I'm going to go back to... See, I don't want to do that one. It's too far back. X battle. Shh. Metal Edelmon. Um, actually, actually, nothing will happen if I defeat Metal Edelmon. So, I guess it's fine then. Let's see how this battle goes. Oh, weak. Weak sauce. I haven't gone into training with him, so I don't exactly know... His, uh, his count. Um, the whole gameplay loop of this device is really strange because you just get into... You go to training mode and you check out... Oh, come on now. Focus. Thanks. You go into training mode and you check out basically how many times you need to push the button to get them to do their big hits. And you just do that over and over again uh, until you find like what's their good, their good attacks. And... Then you go into the battle mode and kill a dude and uh, digivolve. Oh, see, like, I, wow, I wanted to, didn't expect to at all. But good job, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I've already gone through the whole the whole chart. Um, so that didn't take long at all, which is a little disappointing. Um, I, not like I was trying super hard either. I just did it uh, in, like, an hour. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I guess just... I guess it's just a really casual device. Like it's, 
it's more that like you kind of find a form you like and you just get it and you just have it on your thing um on here and you can carry it around and show it off i guess um it's a really nice little bitty thing uh device i mean look how it's it, at some point i'm gonna get a banana and we're gonna put it in here and you can see how small this thing actually is um it's very reflective it's cute it's just not much play value there anyway thanks for watching everybody and uh, i'll catch you guys later